is a weapon our adversaries in today's world do not have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. Some U.S. intelligence analysts believe America is already in a state of war with the Soviet Union. Are Soviet spies living among us? 52 American citizens have been taken hostage at the American Embassy in Tehran. An unnamed White House official claims that a Cold War disaster could be just around the corner. Mr. President, we have two names linked to the hostage situation. Arash Kadavar and Kasim Javadi. Just give the word. It's time to send a message. There will be no more hostages. You sure we can trust the police, Adler? This guy's done more for less. He'll look the other way. Hello. Glad you could join us, Hans. You remember Mason. We cleared a move on the target. Kasim is in his apartment, but he's well protected. I can keep my men out of the area for 15 minutes. I hope you brought an army. We brought enough. Pleasure doing business with you, Hans. <laughs> Come on. Woods is itching for a dust. We don't want to let him down. We're on the clock, Woods. Let's not keep the scene right. Hey, Macy. Party favors are in the trunk. The dipshit probably thinks he's safe. That piece of trash is a lot of things. It's safe ain't one of them. need to take this son of a bitch alive, Adler? You seem as info we need. Everyone else can take a powder. Apartment's just up ahead. Hans only bought us 15 minutes. We need to hit Kasim hard and fast. Let's go. Let's help him bring in the new year. Light him up, Mason. Go, go, go! Kasim's headed up the Go! 
go! Nowhere left to run. We can work so hard! You're up, Mason. Wait, wait, wait! Oh, I, I just handled the money? I have no idea where Arashi is. I don't think you understand the situation. Yeah. You, you Americans have rules? You have rules! You took hostages. The rules changed. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. He's in Turkey. He's meeting someone in Trap Zone airfield. To what? Oh. I swear, I swear I don't know. They only communicate with coded messages. This is not... Oh. All right, let's load him up. He'll find his voice soon enough. Let me know if you need some help looking for it. Hudson, we're bringing you a present. He's in Trap Zone, Turkey. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get Arash? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Priority is to ID a rush before things go hot. Mason, check it out. Any sign of a rush? That's not him. Nope. Incoming truck. Left side. Barrage might be in the truck. I can't make out his face yet. Fire, we need a positive ID. That's our man. Let's go, man. 
The West <laughs> Hudson will want to hear about this. Let's sweep the tarmac for survivors and get the landing. Who the fuck is Perseus? Nineteen forty-three. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. 1968, the Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus, the CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man I suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. And after 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. Sir, Mr. President. Sir. Mr. President. Mr. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal. If the press gets a hold... What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalea, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. 
I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants you there. And the new one. Bell? Well, don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on. Bell. Welcome to West Berlin. We've got a job to do. Mark? Adler? Bell? Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD are tapping their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. And we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. You got it. Bell, this is where you come in. Your MI6 experience helped our team back in Nam, and I'm counting on it once again. Head to the evidence board. We'll retrace our steps through Da Nang. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. That's it. Seems... Bell, you're looking a little pale. You up for this? Good. You've just moved up on my favorite team member list. Right past Lazar. Congratulations. We're placing key intel up there. One for each mission. Forming connections. I want a red line right to Perseus. It'd be good for Park to hear it from us firsthand. Maybe we have overlooked something. You probably cross paths at MI6. Maybe you two have a special rapport. Keep it professional, Bell. The safe house? I've done time here before. Years back. This go-round? Just a few days now. As for Czar, he can't get enough of safe houses. We've done some jobs together. Good guy, you'll like him. He keeps things light. Don't be a stranger. How are things, Bell? In this case, quite. I understand you may have first-hand knowledge that could help us. It must be difficult, Bell. I can't claim to have experienced what you have. Perhaps going over it again could be... therapeutic. You and I. Now that I think about it, I'm sure I've seen your face around Sentry House once or twice before. But these days, I'm seldom in London. Well, I'm keen to hear about your time in Indochina. So close to Perseus. Not nearly as much as I'd like. I have experience with others like Perseus. They're all chess players. I enjoy predicting the next move. We'll talk again soon. Bell. Working with the CIA over a decade. On their actual payroll? Going on about five years. I was born in DC. Parents moved to Israel when I was a kid. Dual citizenship has its advantages. You probably know more than me. I guess it's something the top brass wanted to keep to themselves. Yeah. I landed in an Israeli defense forces out of university. Did a tour there. After that, the Mossad. That's when I first started working with the CIA. And occasionally, our boss man Adler over there. <laughs> This one is luxury. Fresh air, lots of room. 
Try being squeezed into a 500 square foot shithole with five other people. A long drive into Berlin is worth it. Believe me. Enough talk. Sims, heavy bag. Hell yeah. One sec. All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. Word had it, Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow, Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack. In a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Fracture jaw. That one sure went sideways. Bell, it's time to wake up. It's great time. Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins, a little oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. You're pretty safe here. Hey, Butcher, how's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it. Hey, Sims, you know reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I wanted all up here. Bell, you're with Sims. You usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset. Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax, we got fast flyers providing combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Headsets on. All birds check in when ready. Badger Niner 1, good to go. Badger Niner 2, clear to go. Badger Niner 3, rotors up. All birds, go, go, go. Crank up and pull pitch. All birds are in the air. You all sitting comfortably? Oh man, Adler? Why do I get the feeling you about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. But the news is bad. In fact, it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is gonna have to wait a little while. We're breaking off from the Armada, taking a detour. And that's good because... A source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town. A Soviet operative known as Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Roger that. Moving to establish an LZ. RPG! Talk to! Let him up! There! In the bell tower!
and me, Bell. Let's do this. behind you. It's on you, Bell. Open the door. Adler, we confirmed it. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. We're coming in to pick you up. All right, let's go rejoin the Armada and get this fucking asset.
Badger 9 or 1, this is Ripcord. You need to push back the VC reinforcements before we're overrun. Be advised, we have multiple birds in the air. Watch your fire. Enemies dug in all around the hillside. We don't have a hope in hell of landing if we don't take out those positions. up already. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Bell. He's the one who just snagged us a fucking phone book full of Soviet intel. Let's go. Now. Godspeed, Commander. A fucking nuke? Are you fucking kidding me, Adler? It's a failsafe. That's all you need to know. We that desperate already? Not yet. Perseus knew. Sims! Bell, you okay? <laughs> You're okay! <laughs> Bell, let loose of that goddamn turret before we're overrun! can call this a success, Sims? At least the nuke didn't go off. More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. Told, Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. Yeah. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our... 
mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. We finished analyzing the names Bell acquired at Denang. One in particular stands out. Anton Volkov. He's a Russian arms dealer working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev. Which means Volkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. MI6 has been tracking Volkov for seven years. It is my strong preference that we attempt to capture rather than kill him. He holds answers to a great many questions. Your preference has been noted, Agent Park. Nice work producing that name, Bell. We archive everything. The CIA is like my ex-wife. Won't throw a damn thing away. Yeah. The trick is knowing what's buried in that pile and getting the thing you need when you need it. Doc. I think you want this one. You found some checks again? That until you found in Da Nang was a treasure trove. Well, you tell me. After we dug it up, you spent two full hours decrypting everything inside. You seem to think Volkov was the name to pay attention to. Are you feeling all right, Bell? That's one of the reasons we wanted you on this team. Not even the CIA's best cryptographers have been able to crack that dossier. You're special, Bell. But it also sounds like you need a nap. We have, for a short while. We share a common interest. Though to be frank, he's not the most pleasant person I've worked with. No more than you need to, I'll tell you that. Avoid personal questions. And whatever you do, Never ask him about his scar. Do you really think that if I knew, I would tell you? You're cute. Born on the coast of Leningrad, never travels when the sun's out. He has impeccable taste in scotch and medieval torture devices. I think he'd love the UK. I plan on giving him a pep tour. My pleasure. Here to entertain me. Are you being funny? Did we not just go through this? Look, I could say so many things right now. No. Forget about it. It's good. Only when they tell me not to. This assignment, I'm mostly gonna run the shop. Whatever you guys need, I'll make sure you have it. You see, I got a list of connections longer than the Great Wall. Adler needs it, I can procure it. No exceptions. Sure, I could get that. No problem. Easy. I can have that in-house by next week. Uh, clever. But I wasn't joking earlier. That's a hell of a request, but... Give me enough time and I can have one parked outside. Okay. Now how you gonna pay for that? <laughs> Last I heard, Adler cuts the checks around here. Unless you got a suitcase full of cash, I'm gonna consider your request null and void. Shit. I tried to track that motherfucker years ago, when he went to Italy for a douchebag conference. He's slick. If you see him, tell him Lawrence Sim says hello. Pfft. you think one person from the crown would be enough. But I guess someone really wanted this outfit to be international, didn't they? Come again. Kid. 
Did I ever see his face? No. That photo on the board is all we have, and it's more than 20 years old. Handsome man. I hope the years weren't kind to him. Just some overdue library books. Those bastards won't let up. We'll leave within the hour. Volkov heads the Russian mob that moved into East Berlin once the wall went up in 61. This guy has connections to cartels throughout Europe and the Americas. Neutralizing him will not only hurt Perseus, but the global syndicate. He's a big fish. And here's our little fish, Franz Kraus. According to MI6, he's one of Volkov's information couriers. He has a drop with Volkov scheduled for tomorrow night. We'll infiltrate East Berlin via the U-Bahn. The ghost station on the other side of the wall has the access point we need. From there, we'll watch Kraus as he enters the city. Once Volkov shows his face, it's killer capture. still patrol these abandoned stations. Patrol ahead. We can use a train to slip past. Now! Nice work. Let's clean this up. Kraus should be coming through the checkpoint soon. Let's get to the rooftop. Park, Lazar. We're almost in position. Copy that. Come on, this way. Be careful of the spotlight. I know how to 
lock a place down, I'll give them that. Keep an eye on that checkpoint. Kraus will be coming through any time. Look for Kraus with your camera. Damn. Security's even tighter than usual. If they detain Kraus, he could miss his meeting with Volkov. Good job. That's our man. That's Kraus. Kraus just crossed the wall. What's your status? The Tsar and I are at the exfil point, awaiting your arrival. Roger that. <clears throat> Our intel says Kraus and Volkov will meet at the bar across the street. Meet Hudson's contact inside. She'll have a blue umbrella. I'll stay out here and watch the street. Wie schön, dass Sie es geschafft haben. Krause setzt die Table over my right shoulder. Guten Abend, mein Herr. Was darf ich Ihnen bringen? Eine Berliner Weiß. Audio is loud and clear. Now we wait for Volkov. Hudson didn't reveal much. He said you're after Volkov. Who knows? The man's like a ghost. I would guess no more than a day. Kraus is ecstasy, so don't let his wholesome appearance fool you. The man is a killer. One of my informants was picked up in a random sweep just two blocks from here. The Stasi must assume they are more nearby. I would ask a favor of you. He will not hold up under torture for long. We need him rescued. Or silenced. They're holding him here. Danke schön. Heads up, Bell. I think Volkov is walking in. I'll hold them up. Team, new plan. Meet outside Krause's apartment. Oh, He's still our ticket to Volkov. Ich vorne gleich oben den Platz da. I'm gonna need more time. Careful, Bell. The Stasi are everywhere.
Machen wir es auf die harte Tour. Bark, give me a sit rep. I'm in a storefront facing Kraft's apartment. He just got home. You? The Stasi are combing the area. I need to lay low. I'll catch up with you when the heat dies down. Well, get to Bark, I'm sorry. He says. Oh. No picture. They're looking for you. I've been monitoring a, a nearby KGB field house. I, I don't know how they found me. I've done everything by the book. What, what, what did that paper say? You, you can't trust these it's people. I don't even know what you're talking about. Please, j just let me return to my children. Please don't kill me. in the electronics store right across the street from Krauss's place. I was gonna pick her up some networks from the bomb bar, but closed already. Park is just up ahead. I pulled up near Krauss's building a few minutes ago, but I didn't have a good angle to... Just a moment. Krauss is on the telephone. Bell, get eyes on Krauss. What do you think, Lazar? Sounds like Volkov wants Krauss's briefcase. We should place a track on it. The case will lead us straight to Volkov. One of us can sneak into Krauss's apartment. Avoiding Krauss and his wife might be the greater challenge. Bell volunteers. While he's doing that, I'll check around the exterior for any unwanted guests. Park, you can keep an eye on us from here. I'll try to get in the best name. Lovely. Hier gibt es keine Freya. Ja. 
Edda, suchst du mir meinen Schirm? Ich gehe in ein paar Minuten. Ja, Franz, er ist hier im Wohnzimmer. Ich lege ihn neben die Tür. Mama, ich finde meine Decke nicht. Ich bin in ein paar Minuten oben, Wilhelm. Shit, we missed the kid. Papa, kommst du? Kraus is leaving his office. Hide. Holt dir die Zähne. Ich komme gleich rauf. Don't let Kraus see you. Let Perseus know I captured him. Yeah, finally. Perseus has a large bounty on your head. I, I don't care about your questions. Unfortunately for you, it seems these friends of yours have other places to be, comrade. <laughs> I could probably make use of them, but you are damaged goods. Only a grave can cure a hunchback. Yeah,
Volkov went through there. Bell, take him out. He's full value for the line, Bell. Don't kill him. So. At last. Bell, on behalf of MI6, thank you. Volkov is ours. More than he deserves. Now let's get the hell out of East Berlin. The information from Volkov confirms our worst fears. Percy has smuggled a nuclear device through East Berlin. We can't be certain of that yet. He has it. I'm sure of it. We found encrypted geo-coordinates with Volkov's nuclear intel. An unpopulated region within the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. An aerial recon run revealed this. I want to know everything that's going on inside this building. We'll need the others for this one. Mason and Woods will join us from Kiev. Bell, you'll infill here with Woods. Mason and I will be standing by for an extract. Park will handle comms. We have no idea how large or prepared their forces will be, so use discretion if you have to engage. It's time we took a peek behind the Iron Curtain. Mason and Adler on standby. Let's go. The base is just over the next ridge. Get in, learn what you can, and get out. Shed Park. You plan to stay a while. See the Gulag. Do that after we learn what Percy has planned. Look at that monster. Reds could be hiding anything inside. Snap a picture. Ops will want to see this. Right. Time to get our hands dirty. I'm seeing guards. I am low. Choose your target. Gotcha! Holy hell, where'd you learn to shoot like that? Take point and head down the slope. I'll hang back and cover. We don't have all night. Find a way into the main building. I'll trail and disable the perimeter alarm. Quick thinking. Shit. Patrol's approaching my position. They'll find a way in. I'll follow around. Let's 
Мне нужно подкрепление. Мы тебя не одем. Здесь тело. Здесь тело. something. Park, Bell found us a way inside, but we don't got a lot of time. Then get moving. No arguments here. Alright, I'm set. All clear, moving up. Be ready. Could be a thousand reds on the other side of this door. Cover me. Not a fucking word, Bell. The hell is this place? It's a Spetsnaz training course. Made to look like fucking any town USA. Oh shit, we're starting. Fuck, let's move! They want a live fire drill? Let's hook these fuckers up. Just учин. Учение. Стреляю, это не учение. Мне нужно прикрытие. Where'd the rest of those commie bastards? Two guys, a thousand rooskies, and a buttload of bullets. Contact on the rooftop! Grenade out! Watch out! There they are. Oh shit! They turned Bobby! Nothing sacred! I'm moving! 
контакт! That elevator leads straight to the control tower. Some kind of live fire drill. Place is crawling with reds. We're still looking for intel. Bloody hell. I'm putting Mason and Adler on standby for extract. She sounds mad. Does she sound mad? Central. Let's see what the Reds are really up to. Bell, hop on that terminal. Start poking around. Welcome to the Soviet People's Warfare Analysis Army. Operation Greenlight. Restricted access. What the fuck is Operation Greenlight? Bell, can you hack into that? Of course there's a password. Look around. These Reds ain't that smart. Maybe there's something on the desk. Nice. We confirmed it. The nuke smuggled out of Berlin is a green light asset. It's one of ours. If that gets out... No one will know. Not even Adler's team. The stakes are too high. High is an understatement. We're talking about an American nuke hidden beneath Berlin. I want to make sure you're committed, Hudson. The play has been called. The ball's in motion. Well, if the asset learns the truth... You're worried about truth now? I'm concerned about control of the asset. If we can't control the asset, we end the asset. Game over. I'm grabbing a copy. This doesn't make any sense. Percy's infiltrated a CIA nuke program, codenamed Operation Greenlight, run by Hudson. The stolen nuke is American, and Hudson fucking knew. Shit, time to go. Percy 
Rogers is after, and Hudson has his fingerprints all over it. What's your breaking up? Just get the hell out of there! Don't bother with that. I'm moving! What? Bell? What's your status? Nice work, Bell.
Gather everyone, Park. The whole team. Hudson has got a shit ton of explaining to do. Yes, sir, I'm on it. The nuke was from green light. Didn't tell us. What else are you hiding? Maybe I can knock the truth out of you. You might want to rethink that, Woods. Everybody stand down. This little pissing match isn't gonna help us catch Perseus. Why didn't you tell us it was an American nuke? He needed us to clean up his mess. The bastard's been lying to us all along. It's not a lie, it's an omission of fact. That's what you do best, isn't it, Hudson? Manipulate people. Tell them your own version of the truth. There is no truth. Only who you choose to believe. Adler knows all about that. Don't you, Russ? Operation Greenlight. What is it? Tell us everything. Back in 58, the arms race was in full swing. Eisenhower was convinced that the Reds moved on Europe. We couldn't respond quick enough. So he authorized Operation Greenlight, a top secret program that placed nuclear bombs in every major European city. The ultimate countermeasure to a Soviet invasion. 74 of the bombs were upgraded to high yield neutron bombs, capable of terminating personnel without damaging infrastructure. Thousands dying in a flash. You're talking about fucking infrastructure. How's that for civilized? We kill the people, but preserve the buildings. We're trying to preserve our way of life. How long have you known about the missing nuke? One of the green light nukes went offline eight weeks ago. We suspected it was Perseus, but couldn't confirm it. So we saw the photos you brought back from East Berlin. So, there's an American-made nuke in the wild. And once Perseus detonates it, the United States becomes global enemy number one. We wouldn't have this problem if you'd done your job. Killed Perseus in Vietnam. Careful, Hudson. Next time, I might not stop Woods. We need to know what Perseus is planning for that nuke. Park, anything else in that printout Bell and Woods pulled from the base? There's mention of an excavation taking place in the Ural Mountains, Yamantau. Our insider within the KGB confirmed an active operation. Yamantau? I thought Hudson and Weaver buried that place years ago. We did. Perseus wants to salvage the old mainframe. Dragovich and Steiner must have left some good shit behind. Steiner. Send me in Woods. You're too close to this, Mason. We can afford zero fuck-ups. Bullshit. You know there's no one better for the job. It's my call. I want Mason and Woods on this. Find that mainframe before Perseus does. I'll contact our KGB insider, Belikov. He'll offer logistical support. Hell, Belikov may want to fly the chopper himself. Whatever Perseus wants at Yamatau, I want it more. The first building is just over that ridge. Thanks, Dimitri. We'll radio we found the mainframe. Woods, you know what the KGB does to double agents. Yep. Duh. If they win this season, it's almost worth facing the fighting squad. Hey, I've only one hour of fuel. So after that, you find yourself a new ride. Come on, let's get moving, Mason. That's our inside man. Don't let the smell of cheap vodka and caviar fool you. Dimitri's kosher enough. He knows where all the bodies are buried. Hell, he buried Adam. That 
Heads up. Scouts on the ridge line. Do it all quiet like? Yeah, you're the expert in quiet. Nice. Let's keep moving. Not touching. That is the quality. Damn, Mason. Little pent up aggression. Long way Look down. who's talking. I <sighs> hope this holds. See? Piece of cake. The old SATCOM building. Still standing after all these years. Barely. Good kill. See you anymore. Ничего необычного. Нужна помощь. Раненый. Lost my damn gun. I see a tunnel down here. You'll have to find another way inside. Copy that. Stay. Woods. Great. Damn, it's cold in here. Huh. Crossbow bolt. Это место было заброшено после схода лавины. Но я слышал, что при раскопках были найдены тела с пулевыми ранениями. Ты что, хочешь сказать, что наше начальство скрыло вражескую атаку на советской земле? Лавины не стреляют в людей. Я в любом случае. Стреляю! Разве здесь есть что-то важное? Не вижу ничего ценного. Mason, do you read? 
read me? Mason, do you read me? Yeah, I read you. You gotta be close. Over here. You want sneaky son of a bitch. You've been busy. That's what they pay me for. In here, Chief. You see any dig sites? There, what's that? Bingo. Map says that crane's hanging right over the Have atrium. You the mainframe? Puts it in spitting distance of the old computer room. There's a big crane on the west side of the base. Have your winch ready. We got a chopper. Dimitri, we're pinned down. Can you give us air support? But they don't call it the gun ship for nothing. Like your 4th of July, huh? Смотрю! Let's hope this one holds, yeah?
Pick up the base, Belikov! Hudson. We finished analyzing that mainframe that Mason Woods brought from Yamato. And? Perseus was looking for the names of sleeper agents Dragovich used in 68. Give us those names. We'll get Adler's team to track them down. Perseus erased them. Fuck me. There's only one place you're gonna find that information now. The Lubyanka building. What? KGB headquarters? Why didn't Perseus get them there himself? I don't know. Maybe he's operating without authorization. I'll let Adler know, but we're gonna do this the right way, we're not gonna do it at all. Just got word. Belikov is back in Moscow. You guys know the plan. Bell, you with me. Lazar, be ready for exfil. Are you taking him into the KGB with you? Are you crazy? Wait for Mason or Woods to return. I don't need Mason or Woods. I need Bell. He's got the skill we need. Are you enjoying this? You're risking the entire operation unnecessarily. It's not unnecessary. It's calculated. Just understand that if you botch this, we can't get those names. It's over. I know you can do this. Hudson doesn't trust anyone he can't control. Have you come to convince me that you should be headlining this operation? Oh, is that right? Well, at least you're not hiding behind Adler. I'll grant you that. Now what is it? That's on a need-to-know basis. And from where I'm standing, there's no reason in hell you need to know that. You're to make contact with him and follow Adler's lead. Negative. Digging into the KGB's most classified database would blow his cover and burn years of posturing. He'll get you in, but it won't go near that list of names. We can't take the time to fabricate them. Belikov will get you uniforms, and from there you'll need to improvise. Strategically speaking, this borders on insanity, which is precisely the type of work we rely on Adler for. Either as Adler's most trusted ally, or as cannon fodder. An excellent proposition. I suppose she must have exposed herself nope. somehow to the CIA. Leave behind a trail of heads? Bound to get attention? <clears throat> I worked with Madame Shell for three years, closely. I trusted her. What's on your mind? This isn't the first government agency I've broken into. The best are virtually impenetrable. But there's always a weakness. In this case, the weakness is the KGB placing too much trust in one of their own. If there was ever an operation suited to your skill set, it's this one. I handle the talking. You get us the names. Why do you ask? I wouldn't tell you if it wasn't. I don't. He's not one of mine. If I couldn't put my life in the hands of vetted strangers, I'd be in a different line of work. No. MI6 focuses mainly on the perimeter. Agents in client states. Smaller figures within the USSR. They go from the outside in. Belikov is one of ours. Supposedly. I'm trusting Hudson here. Man can be a pain in the ass, but he's no fool. Okay. 
for what? The Lubyanka building, KGB headquarters in Moscow. The sleeper agent records are stored in the archives 100 feet below ground in a nuclear defense command bunker. Your only way in or out is through this high security elevator. We'll need proper credentials. That's where our asset, Belikov, comes into play. Belikov has been our source inside the KGB for nearly a decade. He'll get us in. He came through for us in Yamantown. He'll do it again. This shit is crazy, even by his standards. You sure he's on board? An immediate nuclear threat warrants every risk at this point. I'm sure he wouldn't disagree. Sims, get Belikov on the line. Алло, Беликов на трубке. Извините, я думал, что это писал с Сингапура. We're almost to the tunnels. Do you get access to the bunker? There's always a problem. Solve it. Not yet. I know you have this under control. We'll meet you at the basement entrance once you have the bunker key. Kamra Belikov, you've been summoned to the conference room upstairs. Secretary Gorbachev is here from the Central Committee. Have you ever been to Poland here? Yes. Comrade Belikov, have a seat. General Secretary Brezhnev has taken an interest in the new security development. There's a mole within the KGB. The committee wants someone from the first chief directorate to oversee Colonel Kravchenko's investigation. If you've not met him already, this is Imran Zakayev. Thank you, Secretary Gorbachev. And thank you all for welcoming me with open arms. I can think of no greater tragedy than a home violated from the inside. The trust and love within a family is sacred. Apparently. Not everyone shares your beautiful sentiments. Comrade Belikov, as head of security, I understand you've practically exhausted yourself trying to unearth this mole. How has that gone? I am not a patient man, Belikov, or a compassionate one. Until the mole is found, I want security increased around the bunker. Zakayev, do you have any recommendations? We should restrict bunker access. We also want to cultivate closer relationships with all of you. I want to know your hopes, your fears, your ambitions. Be thorough, but we don't want any significant disruptions. And you, you Belikov? Who do you think should retain bunker access during the investigation? Sound thinking, Comrade Belikov. I would prefer it if only General Charkov retains his bunker key. So you will see to it. <clears throat> Worry yourself no longer, sir. I've already ordered the bunker keys collected from the men. Comrade Belikov, we are in grave danger from the capitalists. Our collective, <clears throat> our very way of life is at risk. The traitor will be caught, and he will pay a high price for his betrayal. <laughs> Belikov, you are dismissed.
I'm being watched. I need a bunker key. Now, first, I'll have to kill the cameras. Have you ever been to Poland? Yes. Sir. This area is restricted. If I'm spotted here, I will blow oh, my cover. How can I help you, sir? the body. I have to get a bunker key for Adler. He'll need it to access the vault. Unfortunately, Cherkov now is the only one. Milikov, have you dug up my mole yet? No matter. We've discovered additional unauthorized communications. Within hours, we will know the exact computer they came from. Comrade. Fuck. I will be exposed soon. In the server room, I could point evidence towards Cherkov.
Mirikov, have you dug up my mole yet? Hmm. Cherkov, <laughs> that's absurd. Where is your evidence? how this got past me. Cherkov will be passing through here soon. When he does, we will apprehend him. That is Cherkov. General Cherkov, just how long have you been spitting on Mother Russia? Excuse me? Do you know who you're speaking to? I do now. Your medals will no longer protect you. Please empty your pockets on the counter. Colonel, have you lost your mind? Now step over there and lift your arms to the side. You're serious? Fucking do it. Is this your way of setting up my fall, Koshenko? Hmm? I'm looking forward to hearing the response of the Central Committee. Me too. Now go in that room without saying another fucking word. Anything else you need to tell me, you can do it in there. Okay, now I need to head to the basement and let Adler's team in. How can I help you, sir? Ludden. Adler's team will need uniforms to get past security. Luring two soldiers into the tunnel should do the trick. Bielikov here. Send a security detail to meet me in the furnace room. Immediately. Wasn't sure you'd come through. I don't have much choice, do I? This keycard gives you elevated access to the bunker. What about uniforms? Shh. Sounds like they're here now. Okay, I will lead them through and distract them. You two do the rest. Bell, take cover. Keep it clean. Uniforms are no good to us, bloody. Там, там, там. Я нашел мне запертую дверь. Нету никакого оправдания этой некомпетентности. У нас есть очень строгие протоколы, чтобы это предотвратить. Понятно? Окей, я have to leave, but you should have everything you need. Now, if stopped, you are reporting to Commander Sobel. Get changed. and key guard are in the back. Come on, this way. Once we're in the bunker, we're on our own. Morsha pustish nas. Ladn. Mm. 
No metal detectors for us. We're going around. Куда это вы направляетесь? Досмотр обязателен для всех без исключения. Вы должны пройти досмотр. Товарищ, доставьте вашу сумку сюда для досмотра. Пойдем в Вьетнам Кобиности. Дайте нам пройти. Не принимайте это близко к сердцу, товарищ. У меня приказ досматривать всех, без исключения. Товарищ, ты нужен за Каеву. Я разберусь. Спасибо, товарищ. Возле Вити, Беликов. По-моему, я здесь, нет? Пойдем. Это будет продолжаться столько, сколько нужно. Что здесь происходит? Я ждал Ольгу Соколову. Но она не спустилась. прибыли что вы делаете elevator conversation always gets awkward gear up they won't be happy to see us down here wait for my word <laughs> И прежде чем Кравченко успел с... Оружие на We need to secure our exfil. Plant a gas canister in the vent. Good. Let's get to the vault.
We're almost to the vault. before they get through. There's the list, Bell. Copy it to a disk. Locking the place down. Follow me. This way. Surrender. You will not get away. Time for plan B, Bell. Activate the gas. Drop your weapons and surrender or he dies. When we move, get 
Get a mask on Belikov. I'll cover you. Southwest courtyard in five minutes. Belikov is hitching a ride. Plenty of room in the taxi. Once we get off the elevator, just keep moving towards the courtyard. Get the charge ready, though. Let's go, Bell. I'll let Mason and Woods know that we're ready. They'll be handling this one. Our source tells us that Aldrich is about to move south across Colorado and into northern New Mexico. That's where we'll intercept his convoy. We can't let a former CIA operative run a Perseus spy factory. Let's put this asshole six feet under. I can't believe Aldrich betrayed the CIA. Betrayed the whole fucking country. Phoenix 2-4, this is Phoenix 2-1. 30 seconds out. We're up, Mason. 
Locked and loaded. Send a message. Mike. Aldrich is in one of those trucks. We hit the ground hot. Watch for runners. We'll cut off the lead truck. 2-1. Provide overwatch. Let's go!
Got the photo. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay. Woods and Mason are gonna take point on this. Apparently, Rudnik is lying low in a remote Soviet base in the mountains of Uzbekistan. Not remote enough. We're gonna land our boys nearby and pay him a little visit. Let's cut this Perseus sucker down to size. Command sounded confident. Once we blow the shit out of their radio tower and create a distraction, we'll find out. All right, we're in position. Roger that. There's an airmail package ready for delivery. Just need an address. Go ahead and mark the radio tower for us. Basically, the tower's up above the far reach. Coordinates coming your way. Roger. The check is in the mail.
Прошу, укрыть! Они обходят нас с фланга! Building clear. Rudnik isn't here. Go on and move to the next building. Let's go. 
так! I got Rudnik. We need kill confirmation. Kill confirmed. We got the pick to prove it. Maybe next time we can draw pictures for them too. Nice work. Evac chopper inbound. Pop some smoke to mark your location. Smoke out! Chopper's just a few minutes out. waiting for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlight. Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus. This is it. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba. Right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. Twenty bucks to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not gonna let him move this nuke inside the States. It's time to take down Perseus, once and for all. Team, wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. Woods. Don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah, you've got my sure as shit guarantee on it. What's up? You available? Ready? Look alive. It's Adler's protege. Well. Are you fucking serious right now? <sighs> Don't get him started. Nah, 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 nah. Hold on. Let me set the record straight. Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, Castro and I have some history between us. I had the opportunity to off the man, but our intel was flubbed. That's in a tidal wave of shit all the way up to D.C. So if I find out that Perseus is in cahoots with Castro, and Hudson happens to find one of my bullets in Fidel's head, 
Well, I say chalk it up to collateral damage. Huh. Kept it under five minutes. I was expecting a diatribe. No, we were after a different spy in case on. Huh, that's right. Our team was right next to Athers when we touched down in Way City. That's also the first time I had the misfortune of meeting Hudson. <laughs> in all those years, nothing's changed. He still has the personality of a wet fucking blanket. Yeah, well, you just snuck into the KGB with Adler, packed their database, and got out in one piece. And I'll be going in with my boy here. If I were Perseus, I'd be running for the hills. And I'd be calling in a mortar strike on that hill. Yeah, for Adler, it's a culmination of three decades of meticulous tracking. He'll probably be extra pissy on this mission. I advise you to stay focused and drop the nostalgia. Look, you better buck up, buddy. Adler's gonna want you more committed than a grenade without its pin. <laughs> you hear that? We're fucking legends. Yeah, wherever we go, we bring the thunder. Man, get the fuck out of here with that shit. You seem pretty unimpressed over in Fake Town, USA. Or, are you talking about Mason right now? As I live and breathe. You got a point in saying that? You sound concerned too. If you're trying to be friendly, this is the dumbest way to go about it. We're just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> you should be concerned. Yep. Later, Bell. Hold on. Make it quick. I'm busy. Indeed it did. Our insider delivered in a big way. As for you, the baseline expectation around here is to surpass every expectation. So from the bottom of my ass, welcome to the team. I'm not in the business of discussing my personal views on team members to subordinates. Anything else? Plan A is Agent Azalea. We didn't pick Lazar for his charisma. He's an expert in bomb defusal. If it's live and he can't disarm it, he's still gonna get that nuke out of there. Bring a change of pants. Negative. Even at this size, Perseus could catch our scent on the wind and try to relocate. In this scenario, less is more. It's as good as it's gonna get. The intelligence community has spent years trying to track Perseus to a concrete location. This guy lives between the lines of recorded history. Nothing would put a bigger smile on my face than you personally putting him down. The projector's in the back corner if you need to go over any details from the briefing. Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Adler's late. No, love, we're early. Adler should be checking in right about... Park, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. All teams, we do this fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab...
grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up this joint. About fucking time. Go, go, go! Moving up. Do the honors, Bill. Come to me! Like fucking clockwork. All teams, man up. Defense to the main gate. Close circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever. It's quiet all of a sudden. Stay sharp. Contact! Fuck! Is everyone alright? Bell, sweep for mines. In motion! Let's move! What do you say we finally grab that drink when this is over? Your persistence is admirable, Lazar. <laughs> That's not a no. Jesus, get a fucking room, you two.
Mason, you missed one behind the counter. Thanks, Park. Keep looking. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Bloody hell. Someone's killing the scientists. Where? Second floor. Room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs. Look Let's out. move. Get you there, Park. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Park? Bell, use the C4. We're moving to the second floor. We're pinned down. Move ahead. We'll catch up. Protejan el laboratorio. Marcelo nos va a virar si no lo detenemos. Incoming grenade. Adelante. Contacto. Cover me! I need cover! Moving up. Please, they're shooting at us. No, stay away. Moving up. Twenty-seven B. Adler, we're heading inside. Lazar, man the door. Got it, Mark. Bell, canvas the room. Hastings, start talking. <clears throat> Perseus was here. <coughs> he shot us. He escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. He'll wipe out half of Europe. And blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go, no? Contact! Chopper coming in low! Gotta be Perseus. All teams head to the roof. Move, move. As if we get a shit ton of reinforcements circling this compound. We need cover fire. I'm moving. Damn it, Boris! Clear, out of the way. I'm moving. Adler, I got eyes on an HPT. South rooftop. Could be Perseus. He's climbing into a chopper. Lock it down. Cover my ass. Out the window. Moving up. Head out the window. Fuck me. The chopper got away. Fuck the chopper. We got bigger problems. Lock down. Don't wait for us. This is crazy. 
have visual. Roger that, ground team. We have visual. Fasten your harness, cross your arms, and remember to keep your backs to the wind. Inbound in two minutes. Take out Ducks. those snipers. They're everywhere. Controlled burst, Lazar. We're low on ammo. You know what, Lazar? I think I'm ready for that drink now. Don't tease me, Park. But we'll have none of that horse piss you call beer. It'll be a proper drink. Get ready. Here they come. Where's that plane? One minute. Stay focused, Lazar. I'll tell you what. When we get out of here, I'm buying. Now that's something worth fighting for. Ground team, this is Skyhook. Your zone is hot as hell. We lend an assist. That would be much appreciated, Skyhook. Roger that. Help is on the way. Ground team, Skyhook. Roger that. Clearing the roof now. Firing. Good effect. Good effect. Ground team, we only got enough fuel for one more pass. Be ready for extract. You will not get another chance. Copy that, Skyhawk. I can see the plane. Park, we need to hook into the line now. We'll do it in turns. Bell, you harness up first. We'll cover. Go! Take cover! Shit. My legs! Contact at T minus 10. Nine. You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on, a little further. Sims, get the gurney. Bell, I feel like I owe you. Ah. Bloody hell. We're going to lose a lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping persons. You always have been. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. 
Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. Through the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? The memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. It was then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. The path split near a ruin, so you took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. Don't 
Empty jaw. Проверяю! Здесь раненый! Я выдвигаюсь! Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. Ah, we almost had it. Let's run six. Okay, ready. Bell. We've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently. Mày về bọn Mỹ bay hướng nào rồi? Chẳng biết nữa, nhưng chúng ta sẽ biết nhiều hơn sau khi bước phát xong sản phẩm đó. Đó chắc là có kế hoạch bay. The path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Mentioned crossing a bridge near a village. The bunker was somewhere on the other side. At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. Roger that. Chopper inbound.
Yes, this was the bunker entrance you described in the report. This could be the onset of another focal seizure. Don't stop, Bell. Fuck! Fuck! Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here it is. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. Crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged ahead. Path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Reports had the bunker across the bridge. went left at the fort, not right. A few allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Inside the house hit by napalm, you'd find a hidden bunker door. Go check it out, Bell! I don't 
don't care if the door was fucking stuck. Open it. Park, give Bell another injection. Do it, now! Heart rate is spiking. I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last. Good. Everything's stabilizing. Heart rate is coming down now. Stop wasting my time with this hallway. Forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume the... Programming is beginning to take hold. Been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. Can Bell survive another round? Now you're asking me. Do it. We're not leaving empty-handed. Script 17. Ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. We've been over this already. Skip ahead to the next part. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Bell, go into the bunker now. States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit, I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation weren't working. 
Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. You just need to give the subject a name. Bell. He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. Where is Perseus? You tell us, Bell. That's what this whole fucking thing is about. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Dugo. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Dugo alive. We'll dump the bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. It was Park's idea to make you MI6. She wanted that bond with you. You even picked up a bit of her accent. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got Come a job on, to do. Come on, we've got a job to do. You have got a job to do. Got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now. What we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. From the safety of Solovetsky. So this is your chance to define who you really are, Bill. 
Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us will cross the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now. Inbound, 400 knots. When that baby hits, we'll have 12 minutes max before the radio towers come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our warbirds a clean shot. Let's take Perseus off the air. I know that. Just be ready to launch when I tell you, Hudson.
contact. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. My hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East, and with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. They've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain.
How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azale's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. Not anymore. We took down that son of a bitch Aldrich, as well as his key assets here in the States. It'll take Perseus a while to recover from this one. What about Europe? Not only did we stop a nuclear attack, we managed to take out Major Vadim Rudnik. That should be a significant blow to Perseus's European network. We also flushed all of Rudnik's key assets down the shitter. Maybe someday Perseus can join him. Hudson, you're the Shakespeare of Langley. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid? Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. <laughs> 